Okay, so I'm Linda Lemke and I'm with Hoygards, also known as the Nordic Walking Queen in the Twin Cities. And today I want to talk to you about Nordic walking poles and trekking poles, what the difference is and why you would buy one over the other. When you're going to decide about trying to use a trekking pole or a Nordic walking pole, the first thing you have to figure out is what are you going to do? If what I want to do is go hiking or trekking, I'm going to buy a hiking or trekking pole. If what I want to do is some fitness walking, I'm going to go for the Nordic walking pole. This is equipment that is specifically designed for the activity of choice. There's not a day that goes by that someone doesn't search our websites for the difference between trekking and Nordic walking, for can I use my trekking pole for Nordic walking, can I use my Nordic walking poles for hiking, and the important thing to understand is that they, there is really a difference in the equipment just as there's a difference in the activity. So first equipment. I have a trekking pole in this hand and this is the pole that most people are familiar with. We know about trekking and hiking poles because they've been around for a long time. They always come in three parts so they collapse down small enough to go into my backpack or my suitcase. They always have a big fat grip on them, usually with some sort of contouring on it and a strap that allows my hand to be on that grip in a very comfortable soft way all day long. So it's easy for me to grab a hold of this pole and use it for, during the day. Never has a rubber tip on it because I'm going to use this in grass and dirt on the trail outside of the city. Sometimes it'll have some compression to it. Again, it's all about making it comfortable to use this all day long. Safely getting me from point A to point B. I might be carrying a heavy pack and I'm backpacking. I might just have my day pack so I've got a camera and a bottle of water and a jacket in it. But the important thing is that it's for balance and stability. So I'm going to take this pole and it's going to work in front of me. It's always seeking balance. Its job is to stay in front of me, keeping me focused on the trail, pulling me up the hill, keeping me from falling down the hill. But that's its job. It keeps, it goes along with me for the duration of the day. A Nordic walking pole, on the other hand, is all about fitness. So this pole looks more like a cross-country ski pole. A nice narrow grip on it so that I can grip and release the pole, which is my technique for Nordic walking. It has a strap that keeps that pole closer to my hand. Again, grip and release is my technique. I want to maximize my upper body workout, keeping that pole pushing against the ground as long as I can. It will either be an adjustable pole or a single shaft pole. Most of the poles that we sell at Hoygaards are fully adjustable, so they're going to fit everybody in your family. Then we do have the top of the line carbon poles that only adjust 10 centimeters, but those come in six different sizes. An adjustable pole is great in Minnesota because today I'm going to Nordic walk here on this nice hard trail, but tomorrow maybe I'm going to go out to French Park and do those cross country ski trails in their summer condition. A Nordic walking pole will always have a rubber tip on it, and this tip yeah, does cover a carbide tip. So same tip that I have on my hiking pole, so that I can do my fitness walking on soft terrain. I can clearly do it on a whoop chip trail, or a grass trail, grass or turf, or even a dirt trail, as long as my thing that I'm going out for is a fitness walk. So the Nordic walking pole's job is fitness. That means its job is to get my heart rate up, increase my calorie burn, engage more muscles so that I'm working my whole body while I'm out for my walk. The pole always stays behind me at a downward backward angle. It does add stability and balance, but that's kind of a byproduct of what happens when I use my poles. So a hiking pole out in front, stability and balance, getting me from point A to point B, Nordic walking pole, angled backwards, allowing me to push against the ground with every step, max maximizing that upper body workout, getting me my fitness workout of the day.